Hey everybody, what's up? This is your girl Dragon and it's time for another live help session with the creative block. This one is going to be going to Julie SNKRS and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a global tracker that all the teams can view. Now I did suggest um, a system that um, Julie SNKRS can implement. However, I did make a few adjustments. So once they see this video, hopefully they will be able to implement their system. First, let me go ahead and show you guys a test of what we're going to be making. Let's do it. All right, players are automatically assigned to teams when they spawn in. So you see I'm team two and then the other player is team one. So I have my weapon here and you can see I can see both trackers on the top left hand side again I'm team two and they're team one when I make an elimination both players are able to see that change implemented on their screen so I see that I have one elimination and they have zero and so forth if they make an elimination, then I can see their progress as well on my screen. And now it's one to five. It's showing two to five because I have two eliminations and they have one. And it goes on from there. Sorry, there's some spawn immunity, of course. and until they reach the goal. Once the goal is reached, the tracker will reset itself. And reset itself back to zero. Again, that's an optional addition. Of course, if you want it to complete and then maybe upgrade to a bigger target or have a special event take place, that's where you would implement that. All right, and you see the process just continues on. So let me go ahead and show you the settings for this so you can start it. All right, so first you're going to need two elimination managers and two trackers. And I have one elimination manager assigned to team one and one assigned to team two. And then a tracker that's named team one and team two. So first let's look at the tracker for team one. The stat to track is events and you could put whatever target value you want here. I have it set for five for this tutorial. It's set to a valid team of any. And it's not assigning on game start because we're assigning it when they spawn on the player spawn pads. This, of course, if you want to assign when players are joining in progress, you can put that option to on if that's what your map permits. Another important thing is you want to make sure the sharing is set to all. And this is an adjustment that I made um, prior to my uh, previous suggestion to Julie SNKRS. And you can see the rest of the settings here. Now using persistence is on and so forth. For functions, we're gonna reset progress when receiving from tracker team one when complete. And again, 
As stated before, this is optional. What's important, we're gonna increment progress when receiving from Elimination Manager Team 1 on Elimination. And of course, you can choose whatever event you want to assign the trackers, and I'm assigning them when the players spawn in on the player spawner. For events, when complete, we're gonna send an event to Tracker Team 1 to reset the progress, and again, that's an optional. Setting, let's go ahead and check out Elimination Manager Team 1. So it is enabled on game start and the rest of this is kind of optional if you want it to have any type of effect when it has an item, if you're having items dropped and that type of thing. What we're going to be looking at, it is set to select a team of two. So that basically means this for uh, this Elimination Manager for Team 1 is going to be targeting and tracking eliminations for Team 2. And again, select a team of 2. When enabled, we're going to... Well, we're going to basically enable when receiving from the player spawner. That should be already binded. And then on elimination, we're going to send an event to Tracker Team 1 to increment the progress. All right? And then let's look at Tracker Team 2. And then for functions, it's quite the same. We want to reset progress when receiving from Tracker Team 2 when complete. Increment progress when receiving from Elimination Manager Team 2 on Elimination, and it's assigned via the player spawn pads. When complete, we're going to reset the progress, and again, that's optional if you want to. And then for Elimination Manager Team 2, And again, this is going to be targeting a selected team of one. Everything else down here is optional and it's enabling when the players spawn in. And on elimination, we're gonna send an event to tracker team two to increment the progress. And that's it. That's how you get that particular mechanic. And I hope this really quick tutorial has helped you along. I hope you guys have a good one. See you in the next one. Bye.